Debbie Young, Anita Frica is an international celebrated African Jamaican Canadian Dupit, monodramatist, educator, and mother whose transdisciplinary work for have made an indelible mark upon the Canadian and global cultural landscape. She received five Dora nominations and won two for Blood Clats and Copa Trilogy. Hi amigos from Las Perlas TV, once again we are here with an amazing extraordinary woman that I really admire and Alex unfortunately she's not here to interview her but I'm very glad because I am the one interviewing <laughs> you today since the last time it was yes, Alex. Yes, yes, <laughs> I'm like oh my god yes. I want to interview her, I want to be here. Like yes. anyway, like now I'm on the spot with this amazing woman. Divino, thank you so much for uh, coming. Oh, so happy to be back and now I get to, now I get to talk to the whole team. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. So tell me, what's going to happen? I started on June. Oh, I'm so excited. You know, I've been back in town for a few months and everyone's like, are you really back? Are you kind of back? Every time you come back, you say you're staying and then you leave. And so <laughs> I've put down roots and like having a wonderful celebration of returning to Toronto. I'm so happy to be back home. And so I'm remounting the Sankofa trilogy, the whole trilogy, Blood, Benu, and Word Sound Power, June 16th. 17th and 18th and I'm launching the DVD version of the plays wow. so now they will have them on DVD <laughs> and it's my way of also saying thank you to Toronto for supporting me through that process and now I'm in the process of adapting the third play into a, a dub opera which is like a, a 15 member cast and I'm casting it out to all young people so we're having the auditions on on June 23rd and then we're gonna work on it for a year to have a big like epic Jamaican African Canadian musical dub reggae madness so this is my way of, of doing the show as a one-person show and then and then passing the baton because it's time to pass the baton wow I am a speechless <laughs> there's like so much going on so okay so first uh, the auditions for this amazing yes, extraordinary but, performance so how is it going to work where so, people can find information yeah, about so, this so um, if anybody's heard of rise movement the mm -hmm. rise movement is like there are these young people who are coming from all walks of life who are super super talented and 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 we need to mentor them we need to give them energy we need to give them support we need to give them love so they are hosting the audition at the rise movement monday night soiree that happens every monday night but this specific audition is on june 23rd that's the magic night okay the june 23rd so if you want to audition if you're between 18 and 30 and you want to audition for this dub opera then all you've got to do is go to events at riseedutainment.com events at riseedutainment.com and just send an email saying i want to audition and then we'll take it from there Oh, wow, that's amazing. That's an actual, uh, that's a Monday actually. That a Monday happens night, yeah. Right after our uh, diversity brunch, which is the 22nd on, of, uh, on June, of June. And yeah. we have the actual event, which is yes. the 19th. Yes. Okay. So the actual event on, on Monday, June 16th, oh, we have Blood. On Tuesday, June 17th, we have Venu. And on Wednesday, June 18th, we have Word Sound Power. And then after each show, I'm gonna have a talk back with the audience. So we get to chat, 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 and talk about art making and talk about the relationship between art and activism and talk about how do we find our inner artists if we're not practicing and talk about self-actualization and talk about the relationship between self-actualization and community realization and talk about anything else that you wanna talk about. So DB, uh, I know sometimes with what happened with artists is like uh, after many years of doing the same one, they, mm -hmm. they they just leave it aside and then they come back. So when you have come back to this specific yeah. tri trilogy, yeah. uh, what are the changes? Like uh, yeah. what has changed in your life? That I've has been grown. Like I mean, I've grown. Mm -hmm. I I I've grown. You know, I, there's so much about storytelling that I learned earlier on doing the kink in my hair which i really feel like i was raised in that show and doing a lot of mercy which is a television show and and essentially what i understand now as a storyteller i feel like i felt it then intuitively but now i really get it like 
storytelling is channeling energy in order to heal people you know I can finally say to myself if you ask me like what ultimately is your purpose then I feel like my purpose is to help whomever is interested myself included to become self-actualized self-realized to become a healer for they themselves to become a mentor and for they themselves to become art creators like if I can do anything to help people to be in the motion of those things and that's my that's why I'm here that's my purpose knowing that alone changes how I tell stories on stage because the focus is so specific now you know the, sp the focus is to have a direct mirror irregardless of the specificity of what I'm talking about it's about a mirror so that all my attention goes into that and I think that changes well that changes the performance so, yeah Come and see. Yeah, for sure. You have to come, friends from Las Perlas del Mar. Remember, you have to come to these amazing performances that are happening. All the information is here. And are you applying for something like during the Pan Am Games? Because, like, I think, <laughs> no, like, people from the 41 countries that are coming to this beautiful city needs to hear yeah. her voice and needs to hear the message that she carries on. Um, the people from Jamaica as well is going to be extremely happy and Canadians are like everybody from everybody else is going to everywhere I else. I think, you know, I'm, I'm working on a new play, mm -hmm. a monodrama called mm -hmm. Digging and it's really, it's really incredible that you bring up the Pan Am Games because the play is actually about global mining. So we've got mining happening in nine different countries in the play. So there are nine countries that are featured, nine different kinds of mining and how this mining affects the character and affects the whole lay of the land and in fact affects the whole world. So I feel like that's a fitting play and the, I'm writing it and developing it so that it can be ready for them. Um, and I'm hoping that I'll be able to present it in such a way that my sisters and brothers from across the world can be able to come and and see it and then we can have a dialogue about what's actually happening yeah hopefully and of course the dub opera is also going to be ready for the same time <laughs> <laughs> so we'll see what happens well let me thank you so much for thank coming nice to see you me. thank you for from las perlas del mar remember to go to these amazing trilogy performances that are happening in the city starting the 16th of june all the information is here and well thank, thank you. you so much thank you thank you for having me <laughs> <laughs> wonderful thank you okay hi My name is Mudgu, and I am eight years old. You know, I don't understand why my uncle Sam is son holding my hands when I'm sleeping. And if I open up my eyes and look into his face, he tells me to shh, close your eyes. Don't be shy. Don't make no noise. Cause we don't want your mother to wake in the place. He says, don't tell nobody what is going on. I have a special love for you, your mother won't understand. Keep this between me and you.